into the saloon on the azimut. L shaped settee to the port side, ahead of that raised helm. She's got three VHFs. Chart table there under that black hatch. The galley is to starboard. Just pull back. Give you a bit of a view of that. Some drawers, cupboards. There's a sink under the uh, left hand of these two lockers. And two ring gas hob to the side there. The microwave. There's a cubby hole there with a coffee maker and vacuum. Fridge. And down the companionway. Three cabins. Master on suite, headlinings are pretty good. Woodwork is excellent, nice quality finish. And the on suite for the master, the shower, an electric toilet, two wardrobes, TV in here as well. This is the day head, all for the guests. Again, toilet under that lift up hatch. This one is the smaller of the two cabins, set up with a bunk above bunk. Wardrobe at the end, currently being used for storage. And then the uh, port side cabin, more luxurious, side by side beds, quite a bit of space actually between the standing room and lockers also. And then the three steps up, back into the lounge. Show you the main electrics panel. She does have a generator, seven and a half kilowatts, and th two air conditioning units. Stereo. There we have it. It's quite a nice compact 37 foot uh, flybridge cruiser with three cabins, which uh, isn't always easy to find. Any more questions, please feel free to call me. My name's Darrell from Boatshed Riviera.